this out. This bison is loving up on the speed limit sign. Is that not the coolest thing ever? He just keeps itching his head. And it's crazy because I think that buffalo are in Africa and bison are in the United States. But this guy, who's now acting a little bit bizarre, does not look like the normal bisons I usually see. He doesn't have the big, whole, big furry thing on the front of him, which could be that he's uh, shedding his fur because, let me see if I can put, show this on the camera. Look what I got myself. This is some bison fluff. Yes, I found it on the ground and yes, I picked it up because yes, I'm freaking weird like that. But this bison right here does not have that big fluffy mane. He just has some hair on his head and he still keeps just going after <laughs> that speed limit sign. And this is not even, mm, I don't know. I think if I was on a football field, I'd be standing on the 20 yard line. I'm actually in the rig. I'm entering Wind Cave National Park in South Dakota, but this is the entrance. And as I entered, I saw him attacking that sign, just itched himself, which makes me think he is shedding his fur. And that, oh, sorry, I tilted away. And then there's this guy down the hill. But look how green and beautiful. Oh, now he's crossing the street. Maybe he's going to visit his friend. Woohoo! Now I can go by. I didn't want to go by before because I didn't want to disturb him itching himself on the sign. But isn't that awesome? Super cool and beautiful. I am out here, where am I again? Oh, Wind Cave National Park in South Dakota. And there's cars that keep passing by on that main road, but the coming down roads and the side roads, there's really no vehicles out here. So I don't know, like I had never heard of this national park until I looked at a map my daughter gave me, but um, I don't know if there's people out here or not. But look at him. He is pretty dang cool. That must be it. He must be a bison and look like every other bison. I just can't tell because he's shedding all that fur off. But all right, we will say goodbye and we will move it along. Talk to you later. Peace out, everybody. Bias number two down the hill. Oh, jeez. I just. <laughs> Bias and poopy. That is gross. All right, bye. Hello, everybody. So, yesterday I did a video about the bison up here in South Dakota looking so different than the ones in Wyoming out in Yellowstone. And then today when I was going on a tour of the Wind Cave, which by the way, if you're ever in South Dakota, you need to go to the Wind Cave, the ranger was talking about these bison and they actually are different. So I wasn't crazy. And it's not just that they're losing their hair. It's that these ones have been the least genetically modified. So even though there is some cattle inbred into them, it's not as much as the ones that are down in Yellowstone. That's what I understand. Which is weird because I thought Yellowstone was the last surviving herd. But they are the last surviving herd of that kind. And this is actually the last surviving herd of this kind. And they send their bison to other places that have bison so they can repopulate and grow a stronger herd. But if you look at them, their head is different. Their shoulders hang down. Their head's like not as big as those ones from North Dakota. I mean, I'm sorry, not North Dakota, from Yellowstone. Which is weird though, because I think their horns, or antlers, whatever you call those things, are bigger on these guys, but they might only appear bigger because there's less hair on their heads. But I thought that was pretty cool, and thought I'd give you an update because I did learn that, because also they, these guys have a more slouchy shoulder, where the other ones have a more stocky shoulder. That's pretty cool, pretty cool to know that I wasn't just me thinking there's something wrong with that bison. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with him. He's just a different breed. Peace out everybody. Talk to you later. I'm headed to Crazy Horse. Bye.